Hello, I'm Dr. Frederick Eccles, Acting Director of Health for the City of St. Louis. According to the World Health Organization, breast cancer is now the most common cancer in the world. Data from Think Health St. Louis, a web-based source of community health information for the City of St. Louis and St. Louis County, reports that new cases of breast cancer are actually climbing for African American and Caucasian women in St. Louis, and African American women continue to die at an increased rate. While the reasons for these trends may be complex and can include social determinants such as housing, living conditions, and lifestyle choices, we know that access to screening services and early screening and detection can catch this illness while still confined to the breast, significantly increasing the success of treatments. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, when detected early, the five-year relative breast cancer survival rate is 89%. A key is catching the disease in the breast before it spreads to other parts of the body. Cervical cancer is another alarming public health threat in our community. It was once one of the most common causes of cancer death for American women. The disease tends to occur at a greater rate in African American and Hispanic women. Cervical cancer can often be found early and sometimes even prevented by having regular screening tests. If detected early, cervical cancer is one of the most successfully treatable cancers. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, when detected early, the five-year relative cervical cancer survival rate is 90%. Recognizing that early detection relies on having access to regularly scheduled screening services, including clinical breast exams, pelvic exams, mammograms and pap tests, Congress established the National Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program. The program is managed through the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and is implemented through the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, Show Me Healthy Women Program. The City of St. Louis Department of Health administers the initiative in the St. Louis metropolitan area. The program helps eligible women gain access to quality, no-cost breast and cervical cancer screenings diagnostics and treatment services. For the remainder of this Show Me Healthy Women educational presentation, Dr. Lannis Hall will be speaking to you about the importance of routine breast and cervical cancer screenings and the importance of early detection of these two chronic diseases. Dr. Hall is a radiation oncology specialist and has more than 29 years of experience in the medical field. Enjoy the presentation. Thank you, Dr. Echoes. Breast cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in women and the second leading cause of cancer death. This year, it is expected that 270,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And although we have made amazing strides in screening and treatment of breast cancer, all women have not benefited equally. African American women have a 40% higher mortality rate compared to white women in the United States. And in some regions in St. Louis, the mortality rate is 90% higher in African American women compared to white women. Today we are discussing the Show Me Healthy Women program. It is statewide and offers breast and cervical cancer screening and treatment for women who are uninsured and underinsured. Multiple clinical studies have shown that mammography screening reduces breast cancer mortality. We also know that routine screening with pap tests have dramatically reduced mortality from cervical cancer. So let's start off with discussing screening guidelines for breast cancer. The National Cancer Comprehensive Network screening guidelines state that women who are of average risk should begin screening at the age of 40. Screening includes a mammogram and ideally a visit to your healthcare provider to discuss how to reduce your risk, update your family history, and complete a clinical breast examination. 
Women who are high risk include women with a known gene that has a mutation or a change that increases the risk for developing breast or ovarian cancer, a close family relative with a known mutation for breast and ovarian cancer, a history of having radiation treatments at a young age, or a history of previous breast biopsies. Finally, if you have a strong family history with multiple first degree relatives, that's a mother, a daughter, or a sister with breast or ovarian cancer, you should share this important information with your healthcare provider so your risk can be calculated. You may need to begin screening before the age of 40. All women should have a discussion with their healthcare provider by the age of 30. Now let's talk about cervical cancer. Cervical cancer used to be the leading cause of cancer death in women, but because of the outstanding screening tool, the pap test, the cancer death rate has fallen significantly from this disease. Screening should begin at the age of 21 with a pap test every three years, and then between the ages of 30 and 65, screening should be performed every three or five years, depending on whether you have a pap test or HPV test or both, called co-testing. Ladies, there is no excuse. You have a program that is offering you screening and, if necessary, treatment. Take advantage of the Show Me Healthy Women program. Let's discuss myths and superstitions associated with breast cancer. One of the main misconceptions is, if you have no family history, then you have no risk of developing breast cancer. Most women who develop breast cancer have no family history. So we know that other environmental causes and health conditions may be placing women at risk. Therefore, you still have to screen for breast cancer, whether you have a family history or not. A second misconception is that breast cancers are painful. Most breast cancers, when they develop, are not painful. You may appreciate a lump or you may not, which is why it's so important to undergo self-breast examinations and mammography screening. Self-breast examinations, you're looking for a painless mass or a change in the contour of the breast, redness, swelling, or nipple discharge, and remember, the importance of going every year for a mammogram. Other myths include that wearing a bra can cause breast cancer, wearing underarm antiperspirant can cause breast cancer, or carrying your cell phone near your breasts can cause breast cancer. We don't have any credible information that this is true. Finally, some people believe that mammograms can cause breast cancer. Mammograms are low-dose x-rays, and you actually receive more radiation from the sun and the earth in your everyday activities. Mammograms are safe. Remember those screening guidelines. You have more control over your future than you think. Breast health can be an intimate and serious discussion. The St. Louis chapter of the Lynx and the Health and Human Services Committee developed a 17-minute video of women just like you sitting around a pink table having an intimate discussion with no topic that was off limits. We wanted to discuss information you may not routinely hear but is relevant. We invite you to view our video, complete our survey, and reach out to us. The link is at the bottom of the page. I am pleased to introduce Cameron Smith, the Regional Program Coordinator for the Show Me Healthy Women Program. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Hall. I serve as the Regional Program Coordinator for the Eastern part of the state. I'm here today to help you navigate the services and resources available through our programs. In terms of eligibility, first off, the three main criteria for determining eligibility include insurance status, age, and income. Additionally, services are now available for female to male transgender clients. 
Clients can be either uninsured or underinsured, which would involve a situation such as your insurance not covering services or not being able to afford your monthly premium or deductible. Next up is age. We serve women between the ages of 35 and 64. Last is income, 200% at or below poverty level before taxes. For those that do not qualify for the program, other resources are available. For instance, women who have health insurance and therefore would not qualify for the program, navigation services are available to facilitate the receipt of screening and diagnostic services. We also partner with various community programs to connect as many women to services as possible. In terms of services offered, we offer quite a bit. So once you're enrolled, a clinical breast exam serves as a starting point and is done prior to more detailed screenings such as mammograms. After that clinical breast exam, if it looks like you need a mammogram or further more detailed services, then those would be covered. For women 50 and up, routine screening mammograms are offered annually or every other year, depending upon what you and your provider decide. In addition to breast services, a complete visual and manual pelvic exam is done once per year for all women between the ages of 35 and 64. Pap tests for most women is available every three years. Last, for resources, we are able to deliver all of these incredible services through contracts with local service providers such as SSM, Barnes, Mercy, and federally qualified healthcare centers, as mentioned prior, uh, Karis TO, Betty Jean Kerr People's Health Center, and Affinia. Additionally, local partners such as Gateway to Hope, the Pink Ribbon Girls, Susan G. Komen, the Breakfast Club, and the Cancer Support Community of Greater St. Louis can help provide invaluable other services such as support groups and one-on-one -on -one support, healthy lifestyle and stress management programs, comfort kits and supportive bras for the newly diagnosed, help with payment of non-medical bills during treatment such as mortgage, rent, or car insurance home cleaning services. If you would like to learn more about the Show Me Healthy Woman program, please feel free to reach out to myself, Cameron Smith, at 314-657-1509 or by email at smithcam at stlouis-mo.gov. Additionally, you can visit us on the web at health.mo.gov and navigate to the Show Me Healthy Women link.